Traveler with Dr. Run Think Pray, and today we're talking exercise. Now I know as far as exercise, I'm not going to show anything. What I wanted to talk about was very specific types of exercise, and I know we've kind of hit on this before, but I wanted to just dedicate one video specifically to exercise so that you can kind of make the decision of the direction that you want to go. I personally feel that this is very important, especially as you start exercising, you know, it'll be a new year or the beginning of the summer and we see a lot of people say, you know, I want to go exercise and get really healthy and then they go and they don't, a lot of people don't have a lot of success and I think it's because they haven't really decided what their main goal is. So they just kind of say, I want to get into exercise and go do it. So they'll start to run, which, you know, Dr. Run, Think, Pray. I consider myself a runner, even though we'll talk about how much I've been running, which is not very much. Um, or they kind of just, they say, I'm just going to go to the gym and they start to lift weights, but they don't really have, you know, the end in mind of what they're trying to accomplish. So this is a real goals oriented idea of what you're going to do to, uh, to choose your exercise patterns. Okay. Now, this is a simplified version, and again, I'm not going to give specifics of, you know, you need to do this many curls and this much bench press. Uh, we may do that in the, in the future if we want to put up a plan. I've got a board right here behind the camera of, of like plans that I've done for, uh, for workouts and things that way. But I want to differentiate our exercises into three different categories, okay? Um, in this case, we're trying to decide whether you want to be cardio based, so to build up some sort of cardio, whether you want to be muscle or, or uh, strength based, okay, or whether you want to be anti-aging based, let's call it that, anti-aging or anti-stress, okay? So we'll start with them in that order. I've done, I personally worked in all three categories and it really just depends on what you're trying to accomplish, right? So number one, if we're talking uh, cardio or, uh, or we'll say running based or biking based or whatever, those you usually want to plan. Um, I find that you can just go run and, and some people can say they just go out and run. I like to have some sort of plan, something that I'm working towards. That usually involves some sort of a race. That's how it is for me. It, I found that otherwise you just kind of get stuck in a rut. You'll run the same three miles every day and it just kind of gets monotonous. And uh, so it doesn't, at least for me, it, it didn't work really well unless I had a plan. Now if I have a plan and I'm running and working towards, you know, a 5K, a 10K, a half marathon, a full marathon, then that worked better for me. I, I kind of could plan it all out and I was structuring it differently. I think uh, you want to have days where you're going heavier, where you're running faster or biking faster or swimming harder, and then days when you're just kind of going, days that you have distances, and that will be very helpful. Uh, again, and there's plans that are written out. But here's the thing, there's a few things that I want to add to that. If you are a runner, and hopefully you've already heard all this, a runner, biker, swimmer, any of those Ironman, um, I think it's very important that you do need to still add those cross train days or days that you're doing some sort of muscle work uh, where you are either using tubing or weights or something to address the muscles. If you don't, you end up having a lot of chronic injuries and, and then you just can't do your sport and so it's no fun. Uh, there's a few things I've talked a little bit about uh, Tom Brady's TV12 with the tubing and the exercises that way. I think that's a great method. And so I would just, my tidbits of knowledge is that. Have a plan, don't do only your thing. Have, make sure to add that cross training day. I know that you hear that, but I know a lot of people, especially runners, they say that they know they have to do that and then they don't, they just run. They run, 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 run. And I see it in my office every day, they run themselves into an injury. So you wanna make sure that you're stabilizing. Okay, next part of our, of our workout is the, the strength base or muscle base. I think that's also important that you need to have some sort of a goal that you're working towards. Otherwise, you're just going and, and doing whatever. You just, you know, what have, you walk around the machine. So if you're at a gym, you, you know, you just say, oh, this looks good and you start to, you know, pull on stuff. You want to have a plan. Um, and, and those can be varied. I'm not going to get into specifics. I, when I've done it in the past, I'll do kind of body areas, which tends to be very popular. So I'll have 
you know, leg day on a certain day of the week. I'll have chest day. I'll have abs mixed in. So abs two, usually for me, it's been like twice a week I'll hit abs. Um, I'll throw in some calves uh, in there. I'm blanking on the name. I should have had this uh, a book. I, uh, the Bigger, Faster, Stronger, I believe is that. I think I've messed up that order and I don't have the author. I like his plan. That's a good way to, to really build up, add some, some bulk, some muscle. Um, I've been doing, actually lately, I've been doing a little bit of that. But it's important to have a plan. And then in that, I think it's also the same thing with running. If you're running, running, biking, biking, uh, you need to add you know, some weights. And if you're doing weights, weights, lifting, 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 I do think it's important, at least for me, I've had better success and it kind of breaks up the monotony of just doing the exact same thing. Break that up with a little bit of running or biking or swimming. So mix them up a little bit, but have uh, a base in there. And we haven't even talked about diet. That'll be a different uh, video. Okay. Now I want to come to the third one. The third one for me uh, is what I've been kind of focusing on uh, lately. Now, the reason why I say that and, and why we call this stress relief exercise is because if you're like me, my stress levels have been high in my church. Um, I, I'm a bishop. Uh, for those of you who know where we're at, we've been doing a lot of stuff within our business. So moving offices, uh, growing businesses, and I've still maintained workouts. Now, there's a really interesting thing that happened to me. When I was running and training, I had done my, uh, I finished my ninth marathon. And really it was in between the eighth and the ninth. I just started to kind of, I hate to say it, but lose the love of, of that. The reason why I started to run into more injuries, things that hadn't usually um, hurt me. And the other big, here's the big thing, is that I was getting sick. So on a pretty regular basis, probably once a quarter, maybe even every other month, I would get a really bad cold that would last for a week or two. And I fell into the trap of what I call chronic exercise. And, and chronic exercise, you just need to be aware. So here's my thing. You need to be aware that those other, the first two, especially I think um, kind of the cardio, if you're working out for an hour or more on a regular basis throughout the week, your stress levels are going to be up. So if you have emotional stress, if you know, your relationships are having challenges, if work is hard, if your diet is bad, that adds stress, and then you add chronic, you know, every day pounding your body, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run yourself down. Your adrenals, you know, your adrenals are gonna be stressed and you're gonna start getting sick. So if you were like me, I ran into those moments where I was, just, I was going, this just doesn't feel right and I'm stressing my body. So that pattern, um, goes to a lot more of, again, um, the TB12 method I think works well, but to me, I started to do more uh, moderate weight. So you can do the weight lifting, but you're not lifting really heavy. You're lifting maybe, oh, 60 to 70% of your max, maybe pushing in on a few days, but it, it involves a lot of lifting, some cross training. And I think one of the biggest things is you don't want to go too long. Uh, a half hour is what I've been doing lately. So a half hour workout, I do, I personally, this is what it looks like. I work out, I do lifting on Mondays, on Thursday, yes, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, I do some sort of lifting. Um, then on Tuesdays and Fridays, I do cross training, where I'll do like my ladder, and I'll do one minute on and one minute off of pushing pretty hard, but it lasts a half an hour. And then the other thing that I've done that's great, and, and I talked about this and will talk about it, is meditation. So I take that extra half hour, because I usually give myself an hour to work out, I take that extra time and I stretch and I meditate, and that is amazing. So if you're feeling stressed out, if you feel like you're like I was, where you've been training and training and doing stuff and you just go, things are, it's not working out. You need to assess where you're at. Assess that, you, you know, assess your goals, kind of, to tell yourself, talk to yourself, say, I'm going to get back and I'm, I'm going to get back to it. It's been a while since I've done a marathon and I'm kind of waiting for the moment when I'm going to say, I really miss that and I need to get that back into my life. 
Uh, maybe my stress levels in other areas of my life are down a little bit, and then I can say, okay, I'm able to go hit that, uh, hit the you know hit the road, go run, go bike, go go do those hours and hours of training, and uh, and have success and joy and happiness as I do my exercise. So I hope that was helpful. Look into it. Um, look at that. Look up chronic stress uh, or chronic exercise, and kind of get the balance for you, but if, it, if you're having those moments where you've been training and it's just, you're not having the joy that you had in it before, switch it up. Maybe you can try more weights, um, or you can try the stress relief type of exercise, but make sure that you're doing something that works for you and makes you happy. Anyway, this is Dr. Traveler, Dr. Run, Think, Pray, and I am signing out.